Thank you for coming to this tutorial. My name is Mr. Socks. I want to teach you guys how to remove the border from around your image when removing the background. So let's get into that. So while we're zoomed in here, I know we've all experienced this where we're taking our image off the background and then we still have that slither uh, background uh, border right outside of the image. So when we use our marching ants, we don't have the marching ants laying up against our image like we have at the top um, and really close to the bottom as well. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to show you guys how to remove that outside border so that the image uh, or those marching ants are close to the image like it will be at the end of this video. So let's get into that. All right, so we have our Chucky image loaded here. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, take care of the background, removing that, as well as getting that border um, off as well. So let's do that here. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go up to our selection tool. We're going to click on that, and we're going to make sure that the automatic is on as well as the uh, add is selected. All right, and then we'll just tap, and we're going to drag uh, our threshold. All right, so we're at 56% right now, which is pretty good. So we want to make sure that when we drag up our threshold that we don't bump it up too much uh, to where we get into the x-ray look. All right, if we get into that look, then we know that we need to uh, drag it back to the left. So now we can get started with taking this image off its background. So let's do that now. So we're going to tap on the background, uh, that checkered part, and we're going to tap and drag it to the right. Uh, as we see, if we do it too much, if we go up too much in threshold, we'll see that x-ray look. So what we want to do is we want to dial that back a bit until we can get out of that x-ray state and see the image without grabbing too much of that element. All right, so this looks good. What we're going to do is commit to this by lifting our pin up. Now, in order to take care of the outside border, we want to make sure that the outside of the image or the marching ants will be will be laying up against the actual image. So we're just going to tap on the outside of the image outside of that checkered area. And we're going to start off at 0%. zero percent. Make sure that if you're up around the 90 or 50% range, you want to dial that all the way back to zero and start from the beginning, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to drag your pen or your finger all the way to the right here and bump up that threshold. What you're looking for is for the outside border to turn black. If you see a white uh, border around your image, you're looking for it to turn black and then you know that you've selected that as well. So you've done the hard part. Now all you have to do is go around with your eraser tool and erase the background like we just did. So now all that's left is that we check to see if we did it the correct way. So we're just going to get our pointer tool um, and we're going to see if our marching ants is laying up against his hair uh, as we see on both sides it is as well as uh, the top and the bottom. If we didn't do it the correct way, then we will see the border on the outside um, and have that space in between the image and the marching ants like we saw previously. Here we don't see that, so we know we did it the correct way. If you would like to learn more about Procreate, make sure you go to the link in the bio and sign up for our Procreate University Beginner's Edition. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!